Hello friends, in my last video I talked about the JSON, so JSON format, how, how the data are structured into the JSON format. Also I talked about the API, API testing and, um, and things you need to know about the API testing, right? So main thing about the RESTful API is the JSON that you need to really be expert onto. You should be able to read and parse this data and validate them, right? In order to do that, um, I have also um, tried to add more videos so that you can set up the framework and you can write the codes and move on from there. Uh, to get that started, this video is to uh, just get you set up to download the libraries where what is needed in order to achieve those goals. Uh, so uh, I'll be using the Maven. So for Maven, go into your Maven project, pull up the pom.xml. So currently this is how my pom.xml looks like. Um, so we go to pom.xml, so it basically has only Selenium and Cucumber stuff and has some Java, right? Um, so I don't have anything into uh, here. Uh, so I'll be adding some more libraries. I have collected them and I'll be adding one by one so that you can get time to add them. So. To get that started, this is the first one library we'll be using, org.json, um, and the version is 2017.10.18. So uh, I was trying to add this into the description section so you could simply copy paste. However, um, YouTube does not allow you to add the angle brackets, so I would have to add this way. So uh, if you would like to put a note, please pause the video and continue uh making a note so that you can add them in right so let's take this down a little bit so that we can only be focused on what we need okay that's the number one or dot json right i'm going to add another library which is called the rest assured so rest assured library is uh, what will be needed for um rest assured um, api automation right that's that's the rest assured for the setting up the framework that's the main key here we have another library for the rest assured also which is called json path so this is a json path that's the rest assured as a base we have another library for the rest assured which is called xml path okay so keep in mind the version remains the same 3.1.0 3.1.0 this is the json path and this is the xml path there's another library for uh, REST Assured, which is called uh, JSON Schema Validator. So these are uh, the ones that you need. And let's add some more items here. We need um, codehouse.groovy, uh, so which is a groovy uh, stuff we will need in. And then we will need finally the GitHub, right? So we need Scribe Java APIs. So GitHub has some of the uh, helpful feature that you'd be able to implement them. So here, if you see, um, so here we started JSON. That's the number one. Number two is a REST Assured. It doesn't matter what order you put in. It, as long as it is inside this the master uh, dependencies tag, and it does not go get inside somebody else's uh, group, right? It will be just fine. So your dependency should start with a dependency tag open to the dependency tag with the slash, the one that closes. So number one, JSON. We have rest assured. We have a JSON path. So you have to copy the whole thing, okay? Um, so another one is the XML path, whole thing. We have a JSON schema validator, the entire thing. We have a groovy all and scribe java apis that's from the github and we will need some more um in order to get um, uh, play along with the json objects play with the java uh, json array uh, prepare the json data <coughs> uh, we need to create the dynamically uh, json format so that we can request to the api right to the server server request happens in the json format and then also we'll get the response from the server back into the JSON format. So we need to then uh, able to read and validate. In order to play with these sets of codes, we need to get some 
uh, JSON library. So in order to use the JSON library, we'll be using some Jackson API, which is called. So let's pull some of the Jackson API that we need to add. <coughs> so first one is a Jackson core. Jackson core is the first library we need to in. It's a 2.9.4. We have a, another one from Jackson. <coughs> it's a Jackson data bind. Um, we have one more, which is called Jackson annotations. And finally, we will need to have this uh, mapper, Jackson mapper. So dear friends, each one of these libraries may contain thousands of classes, hundreds of classes. You don't need to know each of these classes inside the library. We are just going to implement few classes and their methods, their static methods or whatever options are available for us, right? So we'll be using those classes in order to use those classes that's already built in for us. We will need to use them. In order to use them, we have to download them. And if you have a Maven project, Maven has a beautiful feature inside the palm.xml where you can add few lines of this code and it will just go into URL and download for you. Okay, each one of these are the URLs that is available to download these sort of applications like these jars. These are called libraries or you could call it jar. So once you have this everything, um, so make sure these are all like a case sensitive. If you don't type it correctly, you're, you're gonna see the errors and make sure you resolve them before you save them, right? Or if even if you have an error, it does not do its work. You cannot even run any other code. So make sure it compiles correctly. Once it is correctly compiled, then you'd be able to see like this green bar here at the bottom where it says building the workspace. So it will, that means it is starting to download that those libraries from the url okay it may take some time based on your um, speed of your uh, computer right and your uh, connections um so let's go one more quick recap again so we need this number of the libraries in order to set up your rest assured library uh, rest assured framework as well as um, implement all of the json objects and play with them right and which means work with the json data parsing them, reading them, creating the JSON objects, JSON data, JSON format files, preparing the request in order to request to the endpoint, which is called uh, the API URL, right? And then get the response from them and then validate their message. So in this video, this is all I'm going to cover so that how you could be able to download these all libraries, right? Um, so if it, this video was too fast for you, please, pause the video and put a note and then uh, once you're done with all of these libraries that is here then you can um, simply uh, um, paste it in, into your prompted XML and then uh, we'll go from there okay so that's that so I'm going to add some numbers here so that you know you cover all so this is how you comment in the XML uh, formats so that's the number one. This is number two, that jar you need. This is number three. Right? This is number four. This is rest assured XML path. This is number five. You don't need to add this line. This is simply the comment. I'm just saying so showing so that you know you have added all that number of the libraries this is number seven number eight number nine number ten number eleven so there are eleven um, uh, libraries that you need to import in order to use both the JSON objects as well as the rest assured library. Okay, that will just cover all this uh, um, this uh, video. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to add comments and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions you may have. 
um, and um, please follow this video series and then we'll be adding more API uh, related uh, videos uh, where we'll be setting up the framework and add more codes uh, do more play with the uh, get and put request and do some some fun activities okay thank you very much uh, for continuing to support my video please subscribe my channel and continue watching um, thank you for your support and uh, we look forward in our next video thank you very much